Hi everyone, welcome to Mock Duck Plays Games. I'm doing a bit of a different video today because I recently tried to re-download Tail Gunner only to realize that it had been removed from the VCS store permanently. So I had to go through customer support to get the game downloaded and it finally occurred to me that I should really back up my VCS catalog. So I'm going to show you how to do it. All you really need is a USB stick. I'm using a Kingston Data Traveler, which is 128 gigabytes. Uh, this is real close to the one that Atari was selling, same brand and model. I uh, figured it worked great for the VCS, so it would work good here. But really, any SSD or USB stick will work. Just make sure it's fast enough, and uh, USB 3.0 is the way to go. Backing up your games is as easy as inserting the USB into your VCS, then going through the system menu to select all of the games in your hard drive and moving them to the USB stick. If you don't have a formatted USB stick, the VCS will format it for you. Just select the option and wait for it to format. It doesn't take too long, but it will take a few minutes. I have every game currently available on the VCS, and it'll take several hours to download and move everything. I did run into a few issues while downloading. The first thing to know is that, similar to the way it works on a tablet or a cell phone, the VCS will download the games to its internal hard drive first, then copy the file to the destination USB you've selected. So you do need enough space on your internal hard drive to get the job done. When I was going through the store catalog downloading everything, I eventually ran out of internal hard drive space as it was downloading a large number of games at the same time. And I had to wait for the games to download and move over before downloading more. I also did experience a few crashes during the process, which meant re-downloading a few games. In general, just don't try to push the VCS faster than it wants to go. Download some games, let them move over, then download the next set and repeat until done. So when you're done, you'll have all of your games on a USB stick. Just plug it into the back of your VCS and you've got access to your full library. I wasn't able to move over my saved game and app data from the internal drive to the USB. As soon as you select a saved data file, the only option presented is delete. 128 gig USB is actually 113.19 gigs in size. When I was done downloading everything and moved it over, I'd used almost 55 gigabytes of storage space. The VCS ships with a 32 gigabyte internal drive. It seems likely 128 gigs will be enough to store the entire VCS catalog, apps, and games with plenty of room to spare for future game releases. We'll see what the end total ends up being, but it seems likely a 128 gig drive will be enough for the VCS's life, given the relatively small file size of most games. I was also able to take the USB out of one VCS and use it in a different VCS without issue. Having all of your games and apps on a USB stick is convenient, but it does expose the relatively inefficient user interface of the tile-based Atari OS display. There's a lot of apps, and games, so if you weren't using the Games and Apps tabs before, you probably will after going the USB route. The Home tab remains as cryptically disorganized as ever, but both the Games and Apps tabs sort alphabetically. If you are using the Home tab, you can rearrange the location of the various boxes by holding down the A button, then moving the tile to wherever you want to put it. Thanks for watching. 2023 has been really busy on game releases for the VCS, so I've got a backlog of videos to make about game reviews. We've got a ton from Metgan Games, Orange Pixel, and a whole bunch of others, including some Atari 2600 games from Atari Age. So I'm going to have all those videos on the channel here in the near future. So like and subscribe to get a look at them, and I really do appreciate you watching. Have a great day.